Welcome back to Ranger Reads, brought to you by Freedom Riders National Park in partnership with the Public Library of Anniston Calhoun County. Um, today, with permission from Simon & Schuster, we will be reading Freedom Summer, written by Deborah Wiles and illustrated by Jerome Legarig. Freedom Summer. Oh, sorry. On the cover, we have a picture of two little boys sitting together. John Henry Waddell is my best friend. His mama works for my mama. Her name is Annie Mae. Every morning at 8 o'clock, Annie Mae steps off the county bus and walks up the long hill to my house. If it's summer, John Henry is step, step, step in it right beside her. And in this picture, you see Annie Mae and John Henry coming up the hill and another little boy sitting on the fence waiting. We like to help Annie Mae. We shell butter beans. We sweep the front porch. We let the cats in, then chase the cats out of the house until Annie Mae says, Shoo, enough of you two. Go play. We shoot marbles in the dirt until we're too hot to be alive. Then we yell, last one in is a rotten egg, and run straight for Fiddler's Creek. In this picture, you see the two boys sweeping up on the front porch, and in the next picture, you see them running together. John Henry swims better than anyone I know. He crawls like a catfish, blows bubbles like a swamp monster, but he doesn't swim in the town pool with me. He's not allowed. So we dam the creek with rocks and sticks to make a swimming spot, then holler and jump in wearing only our skin. In this first picture it says private pool members only, and in this picture you see the two boys swimming uh, under the water. John Henry's skin is the color of browned butter. He smells like pine needles after a good rain. My skin is the color of the pale moths that dance around the porch light at night. John Henry says I smell like a just washed sock. This means war, I shout. We churn that water into a white hurricane and laugh until our sides hurt. Then we float on our backs and spout like whales. I'm gonna be a fireman when I grow up, I say. Me too, says John Henry. And in this picture, you see the boys swimming in the creek uh, on their backs, spouting water out of their mouths. I have two nickels for ice pops, so we put on our clothes and walk to town. John Henry doesn't come with me through the front door of Mr. Mason's general store. He's not allowed. How you doing, young Joe? asks Mr. Mason. He winks and says, you going to eat these all by yourself? My heart does a quick beat. I got one for a friend, I say, and scoot out the door. Yes, sir, it's mighty hot out there, Mr. Mason calls after me. I love ice pops, says John Henry. Me too, I say. Annie Mae makes dinner for my family every night. She creams the corn and rolls the biscuits. Daddy stirs his iced tea and says, The town pool opens tomorrow to everyone under the sun, no matter what color. That's the new law, Mama tells me. She helps my plate with peas and says, it's the way it's going to be now, everybody together. Lunch counters, restrooms, drinking fountains too. I wiggle in my chair like a doodle bug. I got to be excused, I shout, and I run into the kitchen to tell John Henry. Uh, in the first picture, you see Annie Mae preparing dinner. And in the other picture, uh, Annie Mae is serving the father dinner. Uh, Joe runs out of the kitchen and Mom is watching him run out of the kitchen. I'm going to swim in the town pool, he hollers. Is it deep? Real deep, I tell him, and the water's so clear. You can jump to the bottom and open your eyes and still see. Let's be the first ones there, John, says John Henry. I'll bring my good luck nickel, and we can dive for it. And in this picture, you see the two boys talking. Next morning, as soon as the sun peeks into the sky, here comes my best friend, John Henry Waddell. Run, run, running to meet me. Let's go, he yells, I got my nickel. And I run, to, I run right with him, all the way to the town swimming pool. We race each other over the last hill, and we stop. And in the first picture, you see John Henry and Joe running together. And in the next picture, you just see um, their shadows and uh, the word private upside down written on the ground. County dump trucks are here. They grind and back up to the empty pool. 
Workers rake steaming asphalt into the hole where sparkling clean water used to be. One of them is John Henry's big brother, Will Rogers. We start to call to him, what happened? But he sees us first and points back on down the road. It means get on home. And in this picture you see John Henry's brother uh, leaning against a shovel and some other people working next to the pool. But our feet feel stuck. We can't budge. So we hunker in the tall weeds and watch all morning until the pool is filled with hot spongy tar. S smoky steam rises in the air. Workers tie planks to their shoes and stomp on the blacktop to make it smooth. Will Rogers heaves his shovel into the back of an empty truck and climbs up with the other workers. His face is like a storm cloud, and I know this job has made him angry. Let's go, a boss man shouts, and the trucks rumble slam, and the trucks rumble slam down the road. Uh, in the first picture, there's a picture of the two boys' feet stuck, and in the second picture is John Henry's brother in the back of the truck with the other workers riding away. It's so quiet now, we can hear the breeze whisper through the grass. We sit on the diving board and stare at the tops of the silver ladders sticking up from the tar. My heart beats hard in my chest. John Henry's voice shakes. White folks don't want colored folks in their pool. You're wrong, John Henry, I said, but I know he's right. Let's go back to Fiddler's Creek, I say. I didn't want to swim in this old pool anyway. In this picture, you have John Henry and Joe sitting on the diving board of the pool, looking at the pool filled in with, with asphalt. John Henry's eyes filled up with angry tears. I did, he says. I wanted to swim in this pool. I wanted to do everything you can do. I don't know what to say, but as we walk down, back down to town, my head starts to pop with new ideas. I want to go to the dairy dip with John Henry, sit down and share root beer floats. I want us to go to the picture show, buy popcorn and watch the movie together. I want to see this town with John Henry's eyes. And in a in this picture, you have a close-up of John Henry's face. We stop in front of Mr. Mason's store. I jam my hands into my pockets while my mind searches for words to put with my new ideas. My fingers close around two nickels. Want to get an ice pop? John Henry wipes his eyes and takes a breath. I want to pick it out myself. I swallow, my, I swallow hard and my heart says, yes, let's do that, I say. I give John Henry one of my nickels. He shakes his head. I got my own. We look at each other. In this picture, um, John Henry and Joe are standing outside of the general store um, looking at coins in their hands. Then we walk through the front door together. In this last picture, Joe, and jo Joe has his arm around John Henry as they walk into the general store. The end. <laughs>